Hey Scorps, welcome back to the channel. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. Hope you guys are doing amazing. So let's get into the messages. Remember to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I would love for you to become a part of my Scorpio Nation. Definitely hit the subscription button. Make sure that you take a look at all of my other videos as well as my description box for all information you would like to know about me, including my emails, all of my websites, and personal readings website is there as well, okay? All right, so let's get started, everyone. Spirit, angels, guys, universe, show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please protect my energy as I open this portal. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Return any dark forces, evil eye, low vibrational energies, karmic energies. Anyone or anything that's trying to disrupt the reading, I said you return it back to his rightful owner and sender and bind it to them. 10,000 folds, so mode it be. It is done. All right. Show my message reading for Scorpio. Let's see. What do we have here? All right, so two cards. So let's see what we got. All right, so pride and ego. All right, and we also have a message here from someone that says, my baby mother or baby father is jealous of you. Oh boy. <laughs> so someone is wanting to let you know energetically that there is someone, a child's mother, a child's father that is jealous of you, Scorpio. Wow. But when it comes to the pride of ego, this can be someone who possibly is a Leo or have Leo placements, but... There's something that happened here where this person allowed their pride and ego to get into the way of this connection, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on. All right, tell me about pride and ego. How does this relate to Scorpio? Pride and ego. Two more shuffles, everyone. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Okay. Clarify pride and ego. Thank you. So we have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Tell me more. So it's a masculine energy, possibly an earth sign, who's in their pride of ego, male or female, five of swords. So when someone decides that they want to argue with you, go back and forth with you, or try to diminish you is what I heard, it's their pride, it's their ego. It's like someone is trying to win an argument or they're trying to get one up on you. So there's some type of masculine or feminine, could be a feminine in her masculine energy. It's almost like someone uses their finances their material things as a way to cover up what they really feel inside is their ego is their pride someone here plays a lot of mind games here nine of swords and the knight of swords so even though someone allows their ego and pride to get into the way when it comes to conversations things they say to you someone here may have like a smart mouth or something but deep down inside this person is really losing their mind behind the scenes they're worried they have nightmares dreams it's like their head is always clouded. Yeah. And so with the Knight of Swords, this is someone who's wanting to rush in and come talk to you here, Scorpio. Have a conversation. But I feel like you've moved on from this past situation or past person. Yeah, you kind of let this go, this whole relationship, family situation. You're looking elsewhere for a new beginning, a new journey. Yeah. So it's like someone is playing playing a game here, almost. Mm hmm this is like a father figure a partner a husband and like i said this can be a female but she's more operating out of her masculine energy mm. tell me about my bm or bd is jealous of you child's mother or child's father is jealous of you why is that here why does scorpio need to know this what is this energy Thank you. All right. So the temperance, Sagittarius energy, as well as the six of pentacles. 
I heard child support. Someone is paying child support. Mm. So it's like this baby father or baby mother who's jealous of you, Scorpio. It was only a matter of time before you start seeing it. Like someone is kind of upset that this person or whoever is giving time to you. It's almost like someone is sharing time or sharing custody or something like that. But it's like someone is trying to make peace and balance out the scales because the scale is off balance. Someone is pouring into the other person more than... It's almost like they have to give to you and give to them. But maybe you're getting more attention, love, affection, or time, or whatever, than the other person. Hmm. So the judgment, the lovers, six of wands, and magician here. Gemini, twice, and Sagittarius. Someone needs to make a decision when it comes to either one of you guys, you and the baby father or you and the baby mother or something like that. It's like they're going to have to make a, some type of choice, decision. Huh. It seems like it's more behind this than what meets the eye. Tell me more about who's tell me more about this king of pentacles and pride and ego. So someone can be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Male or female. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Taurus Scorpio. Someone here has like money or runs a business. They're kind of like well off, very secure and stable. But it seems like they use their status as a way to get over on others. All right, so Seven of Pentacles. And we also have the World card. Big signs, of course, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Yeah, someone here may be a Taurus. Hmm. This person seemed like they're at a distance. Oh, someone may travel a lot or something. But they're putting their time and energy. It's something to do with work. This person works at a distance or they travel for work or something. But they're putting all their eggs in one basket. Or they're thinking the grass is greener somewhere else, like at a distance. Knight of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Five of Wands. You may feel like this person is very selfish. Yeah, this is a, a person who's very prideful, egotistical. You guys may fight a lot or argue a lot. Someone comes off very, like, angry, like, yelling and screaming just to try to get their way in any type of argument. And this causes you a lot of frustration, a lot of burdens in the situation. It's like someone stresses you out when it comes to, like, trying to work together as a team be a team player when it comes to a family, a household or something. Hmm. Hmm. What is the Five of Swords and Pride and Ego? So take what resonates with that, leave what doesn't, okay? Five of Swords. Almost like this person feels as though because almost like someone feels like they got the upper hand when it comes to like finances or something. They can play these manipulative mind games here. Five of Swords with Pride and Ego. Thank you. All right, so Ace of Wands. Mm. The Hangman. Queen of Wands. There's someone else, a third party, either this is a baby mother, this person still has some type of connection to. Again, pride and ego. Yeah, someone may have strong Leo placements. But it's another woman or another man, either could be this baby mom, baby <laughs> father, with this queen of wands that they realize they need to let go of this person. They're starting to see someone's true colors. Yeah. Hmm. 
Tell me more about this Five of Swords. It's like someone is trying to get their way to get what they want. So, Four of Wands. Someone is playing a game here. This King of Pentacles, some type of manipulative game to try to have a new chapter, a new beginning with you. Page of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. But it's like they're breadcrumbing you little by little. Like they're not giving you what you want or desire. They're giving you bit by bit. Giving the bare minimum to like a household or a relationship or something. They're playing a, a, a crazy game here. But a lot of you guys may be holding back from someone because you feel like they just only want you for some type of sexual reason. Yeah, Ace of Swords here. Someone feels like if they have a moment with you, that that'll make things work. Because a lot of you guys are single and independent, doing your own thing right now. Hmm. Child, this is crazy. What is temperance and my child's mother, child's father is jealous of you? Why is that here? Yeah, someone is playing, I don't know why I keep getting, someone is playing like a dirty game to try to like win a relationship or get you to marry them or be with them or something. Mm, what is temperance? And my child's mother, child's father is jealous of you. Why is that here? Someone may be trying to reconcile behind the scenes. All right, so the high priestess. Yeah, you may be sensing like some this person or whoever this is is up to no good. Like it's only a matter of time before it all comes to come to play. Yeah, it, it seems like you may feel like they still have some type of association or still dealing with or trying to have a family with someone else. And you're at the point where you're following your intuition. And eventually it's going to walk away because it seemed like this person is starting shit or trying to make you feel like you got to compete for them when they may be still dealing with this child's mother or child's father as a third party. They're manipulating situations here. Mm. Yeah, this is like some type of a father figure. Well, you know, their child's mother or child's father. All right, final message here. What is the Six of Pentacles? This person is sharing their time, their energy, not only with you, but with this child's mother or child's father. Six of Pentacles. Final message here for Scorpio. It's like you're sensing something is off. You got a feeling that someone either is reconciling or trying to reconcile or that the truth is going to come to the light just in a matter of time. All right, so three of wands here. <laughs> Excuse me, Shadow. Three of wands here. Hmm. It's like you're waiting for a sign or some type of answer, Scorpio. You may have the letters BJ in your name, or you could have Pisces in your chart, or you could definitely be very intuitive. Hmm. Page of Cups, Seven of Wands, and Five of Pentacles. Huh. Yeah, it's like you're waiting on a sign or some type of synchronicity or answers from the universe but i feel like it's all going to come in divine time and like the real reason why this child's mother or child's father is jealous of you it seems like this could be someone who's telling another person what they want to hear but they're trying to like balance but one is getting more than the other and with someone giving you a one-sided situation then eventually you may end up turning your back on this person Yeah, like someone's going to end up like leaving the other person out in the cold. 
could be you, Scorpio, and that's when you're going to be like, listen, I can't do this anymore. When they try to call you or text you or something. So the only option they'll have is to like stalk and watch you. This is someone who's very like toxic, immature. Mm. Yeah. You're going to cut this individual off. It's like regretting connecting with them, bonding with them, or creating some type of soul tie. You regret doing that. And now you're ready to just set boundaries with this individual to bring in new new love or a new chapter into your life with the Wheel of Fortune and Ace of Pentacles. Mm. They're going to try to reach out to Scorpio, by, but by the time they try to do that, you're already gone. Disappe I'm hearing disappear. Walked away. Yeah, you're leaving. Cutting someone off. Mm. All right, Scorpio. So this is what I have. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you so much. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and I will see you on the next reading, okay? Bye-bye.